Tigers are known as some of the best hunters in the wild, yet they sport an orange coat that makes them stick out against the lush green jungle. So what's the deal? Why are tigers bright orange with black stripes? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Question. It may seem strange, but that bright coat of fur with wavy black stripes that make tigers stand out to us is actually the ideal camouflage for a big jungle predator. You see, those beautiful cats might look orange to us, but to most of the animals they prefer to hunt? Well, not so much. You see, most jungle prey can only see a limited range of colors like a colorblind person. That means, to their eyes, the tiger's orange fur is actually green. As you might imagine, that changes everything. It means tigers can hunt while blending into the background. And speaking of blending in, it's not just about the orange. That's where all those iconic stripes come in. The wavy black or brown vertical stripes help break up the cat's shape and size so that it blends in with trees and tall grasses even better, like a natural camouflage that would make a marine jealous. All of this camo is key for a hunting tiger. Unlike other predators like lions or wolves, tigers hunt alone. Without blazing speed or friends to help, it's up to a tiger to sneak their way to survival. Each and every tiger has its own unique pattern of stripes, kind of like a fingerprint. No two are the same. This helps experts track and record population numbers in the wild. Okay, so now that we know that a tiger's orange and black look is actually all about blending in, what about white tigers? It feels like they'd stick out like a sore thumb. Well, the truth is, they kinda do. You see, white tigers are actually quite an unusual sight. It's caused by a rare genetic mutation in Bengal tigers that gives them white fur. Both tiger parents must have the rare mutated gene in order for their cub to be born with white fur. Because of this, white tigers are intentionally bred in captivity for zoos, even though white tigers are often unhealthy. Because it's such a rare natural occurrence, there were never more than a few white tigers living in the wild at any one time. In fact, there are no known wild white tigers today. The very last one was spotted in 1958. And if you think about it, that kind of makes sense. A black and white tiger would be much easier to spot sneaking through the jungle, making it harder for them to hunt and survive. So if you ever find yourself in the middle of a wild jungle and just happen to see a tiger, I guess just be happy you can even see him coming. 